everyone, Tim Schofield here. Really excited for this video. We're gonna take a look at a laptop that is probably better than my desktop. This is the MSI GE76 Raider. Brand new laptop from MSI, including the new Intel 11th Gen i9 processor. Big shout out to Intel, actually. They're the ones that sent me this laptop to check out. So not only does it have that new Intel i9 11980HK processor, it also has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 GPU built into it. This is a 17.3 inch laptop and it's insane that you can get that much power out of a laptop. Anyways, with all of that power and that 17.3 inch display, you have a 360 hertz display built into this laptop, which is insane. I don't think I've seen a monitor with that high of a refresh rate. But with that being said, we are gonna unbox the GE76 Raider from MSI. Take a quick look what comes inside, and then of course get some hands-on with the laptop, run some benchmarks, play some games, see what kind of FPS we can get out of it. So let's get started. So here we are, MSI. Let's check out this true gaming laptop. Looks like we've got a microfiber cloth. We have our power cable, which is fairly big and heavy, which makes sense. You're gonna have to pull a lot of power uh, to power this machine, essentially. And here's a look at what plugs into the laptop. We've got our standard user guide and warranty information. And onto the laptop, looks like it has some plastic up towards the top. Always very satisfying. Before we turn it on, let's take a look at the hardware of that GE76 Raider. So on the left side, we have a USB Type-A slot, USB Type-C port, and a headphone jack there. Continuing on, nothing on the front, just uh, a little bit of a reflection to it if the light hits it a certain way. And then along the right side of the laptop, another USB Type-A slot, two of them, and an SD card reader, which I love to see. I personally would rather have a, an SD reader than a micro SD reader just because it works with my video editing workflow. Now flipping it over on the back, just more ventilation. Uh, we've got a display port out, mini display port out, a Thunderbolt USB-C port, Ethernet port, HDMI, and this is where you actually have your charging port. So lots of different ones on the back, which I'm a fan of, especially things like Ethernet and uh, HDMI cables. I don't really need those coming out the side. It's much easier if I can access just USB ports and SD card slots because I don't need to reach around the back all the time. And very quickly on the bottom, you have a solid uh, rubber strip down here and in the two corners so that it does not slide around and just a bit of a design for some more ventilation, flipping it over up towards the top is the MSI logo, kind of a titanium color look to it. And as you all know, in every single one of my laptop videos, the one-handed opening test, which this should pass very easily, considering the size of a, a pretty much every 17-inch laptop passes it. Anyways, it did, as usual. Now I'm going to power it on for the first time. Uh, we can take a closer look at this hardware. So if you remember how I said it's sort of reflective, check this out. It actually has uh, some color changing going on towards this strip. It's very subtle, and in person it looks really good. It looks better to the natural eye than it does on camera for sure. It's much more smooth, not as choppy. There is a backlighting to the keyboard. Um, this trackpad is fairly small for a 17-inch laptop. I'm actually kind of surprised that it is a little bit small, but otherwise we do have a full-size keyboard with a number pad on the right. Of course, we've got our Intel Core i9 sticker in the bottom left and that NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Moving along, we have booted it on up. And thankfully, since Intel did send this laptop, they actually pre-installed something called uh, RUGs, where I can actually run benchmarks and test a bunch of different things automatically. This is a fantastic addition that Intel includes when they send review units. So just shout out to Intel for doing that. And a closer look at that light strip down at the bottom. So it's not just towards the top half of the laptop. You'll notice on the side here, it also does light up. So a really cool look to this laptop. So let's take a look at that 17.3 inch IPS display. Like I said, it is 360 hertz. You can see it in the bottom left. However, if you go into settings, there is MSI True Color. 
So you can actually tune the display how you want it. There's, let's switch to gamer. You won't see it. Uh, I can see it to my eye switch when I change this, but you might not see it on camera, but it is kind of switching the colors around. Uh, you can tune it to however you want to, gamer, anti-blue, sRGB, office, movie, or show settings, and you can really customize the brightness and the color temperature to your liking. So anyways, let's go into display settings, and I can even just tell by scrolling on this, uh, this page that it is a very high refresh rate. I'm guessing it's 360 hertz. Let's go to advanced. And it is 360 hertz refresh rate, which is crazy. Highest refresh rate I think I've seen on a display. You've also got that MSI center built in to monitor your CPU, GPU usage. There is that 11th gen Intel Core i9-11980HK processor coupled with that RTX. 3080 laptop GPU, 32 gigs of RAM. I have a lot of games installed. We have those RUGs installed. 742 gigs available still on that SSD. It let's you know the temps. And then if you go to features, maybe a user scenario. Right now it's on balance. You can go to silent if you want to turn those fans down. Super battery, user, and extreme performance, which I would kind of recommend if you have it plugged in maybe. You can actually offset the core clock and the VRAM as well, so you got some overclocking options. Now with that being said, I'm going to run one of these RUGs and actually show you the results. So we're gonna do Vegas Pro here with a 4K render. Just to give you an idea of how long, it's a video file that's 4K, 15 seconds long, about 138 meg. So like I said, it runs this test for me so you can see the results without me having to do it manually. It will automatically do it. It's actually a really cool way to benchmark uh, with different programs and stuff. And also, I'm going to install a couple games, and we're gonna take a look at the frames we can get uh, on some games. So we're gonna see some gameplay as well. I'm gonna let this run through, do its thing. I'll come back with the results. So with this test, we're going to use the Intel QSV hardware encoder with that brand new Intel Core i9 processor. So not even going to use Nvidia's hardware encoder. Let's go ahead and hit start. And as you saw, it runs through it five times and takes a minute break. That's how I set it up. You can set it up different ways, but I'm gonna let it run through five times. We'll be back. Here are the results of that 4K render in Vegas Pro. You'll see it is measured in seconds, about 353 seconds. Good thing I carry around a calculator in my pocket. So it's just under six minutes to render that 4K file, which is very good, especially considering it was using that Intel QSV hardware encoder. Love to see that. So it just shows the raw power that this i9 actually has. But also, before I ran this, actually, I stopped it and installed some games. So you'll see some games here on the left. Let's go ahead and just run some 1080p games and see what kind of frames we get. So quick side note, about to do some gaming, but whenever I game on a gaming laptop, I always plug my mouse in on the left side and bring the cable around. If I have a mouse that is connected via a cable, otherwise wireless, it doesn't matter. But that's just kind of a pro tip with the cable. It just kind of keeps it behind out of your eyesight and also just kind of pulls the cable a little bit so it doesn't get in your way while you're gaming. Anyways, we're gonna start with some Apex Legends and jumping into it, in the upper left-hand corner, it will show the FPS. Uh, in the menu right now, it's saying 188, 175. We're gonna go ahead and go into video. And the, everything is just about all the way up. You'll see high, everything enabled, um, which generally I won't do. I prioritize FPS. You'll see it's at 212 up upper left-hand corner right now. but. I prioritize FPS over some things. So normally I'd, I'd kind of edit this. I'm not going to, this is just the default setting for Apex Legends in 1080p. So we're gonna go ahead and queue up a game and see what kind of FPS we get on very high settings. All right, so just landed in Apex and I'm getting over 200 FPS, around 200 FPS right now, which is awesome. Uh, it looks really good. Um, as expected, super smooth, I mean, with 360 hertz in the display, uh, whatever FPS it is that I'm getting. Here, I'm in a fight right now. I'm looking at the FPS, about 200. So I died there, but at, as I was in a fight there in combat. All right, so right now about 170. That's the lowest I've seen it go because there's a lot going on right now. But that is 
incredible, especially because all the settings are just about at high. Everything looks so smooth right now. Really pleased with this, actually. Um, big fan of the display. Everything looks good. So with, I mean, right now, 250 FPS. Love to see it. So let's jump to another game, maybe a less intensive game. I feel like Apex is one of the more intensive games. So I know I said less intensive than Apex. However, I still feel like Rocket League is fairly intensive. However, right now we are getting 345, 350 frames a second, which is crazy. There we go. Three, it dropped down to 300 as I was about to score that, which, oh my gosh, this is great, actually, because... You know, I have a 2080 Ti in my desktop, and, you know, this performance, I feel like, is, is even better. So, you know, with that new Intel i9 coupled with that 3080 in a laptop is pretty insane. I love that, you know, manufacturers, Intel, are really focusing on making gaming a little more accessible and portable, essentially. So... Uh, still getting 350 frames a second. And um, I want to make note, this is 1080p. And just like Apex, I left the graphic settings very high. So this is very high graphic settings. Again, I'm getting over 300 FPS, which is great and couples really well with that 360 hertz display. Everything looks really smooth. Big fan of this. And I know I'll get the request. So ah, I was going to see if I was going to score that. I'm sorry, guys, for leaving. Just a casual match, don't worry. Uh, but let's load up Fortnite now and see what we get. So as always, a quick look, full screen, frame rate limit 360, and everything is auto set to high. So we are ready to go. I haven't played Fortnite in a while, so let's queue up for a solo game. Okay, so for our final gaming test, let's land here. We're getting almost 200 FPS, probably around 200 as we land. It goes up uh, again. Oh, man, I need to change my... Let's just get in a fight real quick. But again, just under 200 FPS with everything set to high right now. Which, I love to see that. I mean, everything looks very good. Let's go ahead and get in a fight real quick and see what kind of FPS we get while we... There's someone right there. I haven't played this game in a long time, guys, but this is, this is cool. Uh, about 150, 160 FPS there while I was shooting. So, um, just as a baseline there this is with everything set to high again i prioritize fps over uh the quality settings anyways in game so overall that is just about everything i want to talk about in terms of the ge raider from msi big shout out again to intel really shows off the power with the combo with the gpu and that new intel core 9 processor with gaming so love to see it. Definitely going to do some more testing. If there's anything else you want me to show off, please let me know. Drop a comment. I'd like to get a full review out of this laptop. So again, drop a comment. I can run more benchmarks. If there's Adobe Lightroom, Adobe After Effects, I can run all of these RUGs that Intel sent over and really test out those apps. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.